it's safe to say the expectations are really high for LSU baseball. The Tigers are picked by multiple publications as the preseason favorites to win the national title. LSU has the number one incoming recruiting class, number one transfer class, and as Megan Glover shows us, they also added a key member to their coaching staff. One of the more exciting times of the season isn't just the games, but the prep. LSU is now three weeks away from opening weekend, and time is winding down on who will be where. In the offseason, head coach Jay Johnson added Wes Johnson as the pitching coach to his staff. He comes from the majors, where he coached with the Minnesota Twins for over three years. When asked why LSU, he says one of the many reasons is tradition. You know, if I was going to leave the big leagues, I wanted to come back to a place that had some tradition, had, had phenomenal fan base. Had, re, you know, had the mindset of, hey, we're going to do whatever it takes to win. On the field, competition getting underway. LSU returned six position players, but with welcoming freshmen, they also welcomed a good bit of transfers, four of them being named to the D1 Top 100 Impact Transfer List. So from the mound, behind the plate, and around the diamond, Jay Johnson says he's excited to see his team knock it out of the park. There's a lot to be determined because there's a lot of guys that can make a positive contribution. Um, you know, I mean, Dylan Cruz is going to play. You know what I mean? It's not hard to figure out. <laughs> um, you, know, um, you know, and there's other guys that I feel that way about on this team right now, both on the pitching side of it and the position player side of it. I think we just have a lot of guys that go out there and play hard. I think you can put anyone at any position and we'll be able to play, play a good game. I mean, you could split the lineup in half and we'll be able to have two good teams. They could probably compete against anyone in the country. Of their six returners, this will be Dylan Cruz's last year in the purple and gold. The center fielder is in the conversation to go first in the MLB draft. And here around the box, many say they're impressed with how he's kept his composure. In Alex Box Stadium, Megan Glover, KTC Sports.